Okay, so I got my uh, front two zones working. Now I'm doing my side yard today. Just uh, I had laid the poly already a couple weeks ago. So today I'm just connecting all the sprink, uh, sprinkler heads. And it occurred that I had not shown how uh, to use a saddle yet. And what the saddle does is it just attaches to the uh, poly itself and it punctures a hole in there. And then you just use an elbow and funny pipe to connect to the uh, sprinkler. Uh, when I first uh, saw those and the guys at the um, plumbing supply uh, recommended them, I wasn't uh, sold that they have good seals, but uh, it turns out that they seal really well. Um, I used one on my front zone. Uh, so today I'm gonna show you how to use one of those. It's super easy, not much harder than uh, just using an end connector. So I'm gonna go do that now. All right, so this is the saddle. Um, this is actually three pieces. The saddle comes without this elbow and all you're doing, uh, you just uh, use some uh, Teflon tape with that, throw that guy in so that's what you're going to connect your funny pipe to. And then you see this part, this is what's going to puncture the PVC and create, it creates a pretty good seal. It doesn't leak at all. And then uh, it screws into this guy. It's not the easiest thing so I'm going to try to do it right now. Uh, I mean, it's relatively easy to do it, but sometimes it fights you a little bit. So I need it to be here because I'm running up this way. So you, all you do is you spread this apart like this and s snap it on like that. I want it to be a little more facing this way, a little upright. And then you have to just kind of muscle the screw tap on. This one was pretty easy. I'm thankful since I'm videotaping it. And then you literally start screwing it. At some point, you'll feel the pressure where it hits the poly. I just went in, I believe, just went through, and then you just click it, and there's a certain point where it'll stop turning, and you know you're in all the way, and it's sealed well, and I'm about there right now. Yeah, that's good. That should seal fine. And now I'm just going to turn my elbow. I want it facing that way, and from that point, all you're doing is connecting your uh, head the same way I did it in one of my earlier videos, uh, where you just run some funny pipe and clamp it here and run it to this point over here somewhere and put your sprinkler head here. So I'm not gonna bother videotaping that again. Um, actually, I will. Okay, so uh, first you take your sprinkler head, you got your elbow in, you threaded it, you put it in, and you grab your soap to lube it up a little so it goes in a little easier. And then you do the same thing. It's probably not the best thing to do. You do the same thing in this end, throw a little soap in there, roll, uh, roll your pinky around in there to lube it up, and then you're just muscling it in this end. Oh, let me put my clamp on before I do that. It's just easier to do it when it's going in than take it apart and have to redo it. So, and then I just muscle them in from that point, just spinning them around repeatedly until they go in. You can try tapping it in. I just found this is a little bit faster for me. There's not quite enough surface area there to tap it. And then just muscle that guy in. And I try to get it all the way to the post going upwards. And I'm just about there, so we're going to go to that point. All right, and then you just tighten your clamps. So uh, I'm going to do that real quick, and then uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got the uh, sprinkler head on the other end, and now I'm showing you. This is how I kind of measure. I eyeball it. So if you look from here and you follow up to where the sprinkler head is, I kind of gauge it. I want it to sit somewhere around here. And when I fill the dirt in later after I test it, it's easy. That's what the funny pipe is. It's nice and flexible so I can get it set to the right height, something reasonable. It's not rocket science, but uh, so what I'm doing now is I'm putting my thumb where about where I'm going to cut it. I'm going to grab these clippers right here and I'm just going to start cutting it, make a nice clean cut. These things are fantastic. And at that point, all I'm going to do is Okay, so now uh, my wife's phone, her alarm went off. We're uh, timing uh, how long our sprinkler that we're using with our hose still in the back is going off. So every 10 minutes she gets to go run up and change that. So anyway, all I got to do now is I'm going to connect this uh, poly here and clamp it. And then my sprinkler head is in. And that's pretty much all you need to do to uh, use a saddle. Okay, so uh, I'm winding down today. I was able to get the zone behind me over here done. That's my, uh, I don't know, what is it, fourth zone, uh, five heads. And then I got this whole side of the house done, which is kind of hard to see in the dark, but uh, I got five heads on this guy. So uh, 
I was trying to get two more zones done, but I ran out of clamps. I have a few left, and it's getting to be, it's about 8 o'clock. I'm uh, getting tired of my back stiff, so I'm going to call it a day. But uh, pretty good progress. Uh, I'll run down and grab some uh, clamps tomorrow. I underestimated by quite a bit. I probably need about another 60 clamps. So I'm going to go grab those, and then uh, I'll be back out here tomorrow, finish my other two zones, and uh, that's uh, my, what, my four, five, and six. And then I'll be able to wire that val the valve box to those uh, four zones, the side of the house and the three back here, and I'll be able to run that and test it. So that'll be good. So it's uh, starting to fall like dominoes. It's uh, pretty good. All right, it's Sunday afternoon. Uh, I've been out here about three hours. I uh, had a bunch of other stuff I had to do early today. So what I got done, I got uh, this little zone here is four heads. That guy's all done. And I'm going to go over here and I got, it's really bright again. And I got this zone done, which is my zone. I don't know, I think it's six. So there's like a head here. There's six heads in this little, in this little area here. So that's all done. Uh, the next step for me is I'm going to have to go up the hill here and figure out a way to tie off my main. Uh, I left that. I just ran the poly up there. I'm, I'm going to be putting a ball valve in up there. And then I have to be able to close the ball valve off so I can pump this uh, these four zones, three, four, five, and six. I can pump them full of water, and then I can test them all, wire it, and get that one running. All right, so I got my ball valve in. This is going to go up, uh, branch off, and go up to this zone and uh, all the zones that are at the back of my property up here. And I just put that in so I can, uh, this is the main right here, running from down below. Uh, and then I walk, connected this poly over here, which goes to what's gonna be drip systems probably next year. And I put in a little uh, a spigot here so I can uh, water my, my yard with the uh, secondary water. And probably at some point, this whole little area is gonna be a garden, so I'll be able to do that. But uh, I got a ball valve in right there, and that one is closed. So now I could fill the, the main up with water and it won't leak all over the yard. And then I can go back down here and test all these zones down here. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, so I have a bunch to test and I'll show you how I'm gonna do that next. Okay, so when I'm testing the valves, what I'm really doing is I'm filling the, uh, I'm using I'm turning them on manually and then I'm just checking to see that all the heads have water come out coming out of them and then eventually I'll just turn them off after a couple minutes and wait till it dries out a little bit and then I'll look to see if I have any obvious leaks that any of the clamps aren't tight enough uh, so far I haven't had any so I'm gonna test this guy right here so all you do is you turn the solenoid about a half a turn you can hear the water actually start filling and I'm just doing this little small zone here and you can see they popped up. This is a one, two, three, four, that's it. So these guys are running pretty well. So uh, success on this one. I already tested two up on the other side of the house and those were working fine. So just one more, but uh, that's really all I'm doing now. And it looks like everything's working well so far. So I got one more to test and then I'm gonna actually uh, wire this, uh, wire these valves to the uh, timer. I'm gonna bury the heads and then uh, I'll have four more zones that I can, one, two, yeah, four more zones I can use. So uh, we're getting there, slow progress, but uh, you know, it's getting there. Zone three, working, got some air in the lines apparently, but it's working. Everything along the side of the house in zone three is working. Boom. Zone four, working. Boom. Zone five, working. Boom. Zone six, working. Boom. Okay, so I have uh, zones three, four, five, and six are all working. Today I uh, I wired them all and I tested them all with the booster pump and the uh, timer. Everything's working uh, beautifully. I have no leaks, nothing really uh, uh, 
got, went wrong, everything was nice and smooth. So uh, all I have to do now is uh, bury the heads and move on to the next uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And I actually already did uh, zone 11. Uh, that's a drip system that's going to be along the back of my house. I have that. I wired it. Um, it's actually in the same valve box, but it's wired to a different timer as the four zones I just put in. So uh, all in all, I have four zones pretty much. I'll be able to run zones one through six now, and uh, we're on our way. And uh, hopefully I can get this done in the next couple weeks. Uh, not working on it. Not killing myself. Just uh, doing a little bit here, a little bit there, four hours here, four hours there while I you know, try to enjoy my life a little bit. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.